Hi guys, today we are looking into this highly functional 3-axis game ball for smartphones. It comes with a very large bracket, so it fits for all the latest iPhone, Samsung and all the other phones. It comes with a lot of great functions, can be connected to your phone, so you can shoot directly from the gimbal, don't have to touch your phone anymore. It comes with a quick swap function between portrait and landscape, also something which could be very helpful. The handlebar comes even with an extra foot, so we can use it as a tripod and it comes with a very long battery runtime of up to 13 hours so we can use it the whole day so i'm going to take it out of the box show you what to get and then how to use it and so here we have the box in detail it is called funsnap capture 2s and here on the back we see also some of the specs so let's take it out of the box it comes even with this awesome transportation and storage bag and it comes with this instructions manual which shows and explains everything but I'm going to show you most of the things anyway in this video here. The charging cable standard USB-A to micro USB and then the gimbal itself makes a very good impression. I would say very solid build, beautiful with this nice matte black finish. And here we have the numbers which are really important for the instructions. So we have to prepare everything at the phone, do the calibration, everything to have it ready before we turn it on. And then we have the food. We can pull it apart, attach it underneath if you want. Very nice. Comes with soft rubber feet, so it has very safe stand. Then some very important information about the weight. The weight of the whole gimbal is only about 500 grams, so it's very lightweight. And the other important information about the weight is the weight of your smartphone, which is allowed to be put on this gimbal, and that's around 260 grams. So my phone is only 228, so this shouldn't be a problem. If you have a very large phone or if you are using a very large case, then this could be too much. The maximum width, by the way, is 88 millimeters. So for this OnePlus 10 Pro, even with the case, it shouldn't be any problem. The gimbal can be charged from the back and then we have a battery indicator in the front. So always make sure that we have enough charge. So I have the gimbal here on the stand and now what's super important is to unlock it. Just push it to the right side here. You can hear this clicking and now it is free. And now we put the phone between these two brackets. We open this a little bit. It looks like the brackets are really made more for just using the phone without the case. With the case, it doesn't have the greatest fit. So I'm definitely going to remove the case here. Now you can see it without the case. And you can see the brackets have much better fit. By the way, this procedure is meant to use the gimbal then after that in a horizontal position. If you want to use the phone in a vertical position, you can switch this uh, mount here with the brackets 90 degrees. So I'm putting this back here so I can keep going with the horizontal installation. What's also really important is that we have the phone fully down here. It has also some kind of holder down here. And now we have to adjust the weight balance using this extension here. So when we have it like that, you can see it's leaning to the left side. It's a little bit heavier. So we are pushing it to the right side. And now it's leaning to the right side. So we have to push it to the left side. It can be adjusted very fine. So usually we should find a perfect balance. If we can't find the right balance, we can also use these two additional weights, which we can attach here on this side. What's also highly recommended is to move the phone to the center here. So we have about same distance here and here. What's really good here is that I can see that the brackets are on the right side. So they don't impact the buttons here on the phone. And now it's time to scan the QR code and download and install the app. And now the app asks to discover the device. We select this one here, connect. So as far as I can see, it's connected. So we didn't have to turn on the gimbal first, but now we are ready. We long press it for three seconds. I think it's already on. And so let's try and see. And it works right out of the box. You can see it keeps everything nice and steady. 
If you like, you can still use your normal camera app, absolutely no problem. And you can also assign the shutter release button to start and stop the video. But other than that, there are no special function. Of course, the gimbal will still work depending on how you have set it up. But the dedicated software from this gimbal has much more options. First, we choose the right resolution, but then we can choose from a huge variety of extra functions. For example, face tracking, object tracking, coupled mode. For example, in the object tracking, we can just mark something and then it will keep the object within the green frame. Or we can use the gesture mode. We have also dedicated photo mode. Then we have the special Hitchcock mode. Then we have a time lapse different templates on the left side you can see many different templates the trigger here has also a couple of different functions we have a long press and when we long press goes into red so almost no matter what we do it keeps exactly the same object in the center of the capturing we can also hit the button twice to center it so it's pretty much centered when we have it in an upright position there's also an action mode when we short press and then long press Something like that and then it flashes and then it will be more responsive. And also the joystick is very helpful when something is out of center. You can move the gimbal left, right, up and down. So you can easily center something without moving your hand. And the wheel on the left side has two functions. We can either use it for tilting up and down a little bit. Or we can push in and use it for zoom in and zoom out. And we can activate or deactivate the horizontal stabilization with a short press here on the on off button. So you can see, so usually it's horizontally totally stabled, but when we push here, we can move it around. This can be an intentional video effect. So you can see huge difference. With a long press on the shutter release button, we can switch between the video and the photo mode. And with a short press, we can either take then a picture or when we are in the video mode, we can start and stop the video. And with a double press, we can activate the selfie camera. Of course, these are not all the functions. There are many more. I just wanted to show you a couple of them. And so I've been outside uh, shooting some video and everything has been working absolutely awesome. And so there's almost nothing to complain. I just wished the brackets would be a little bit larger so we could use also our smartphones with the normal case. Other than that, absolutely no problem. It's a lot of fun. And it brings our smartphone video recording to a total new level. I've always been thinking stabilization would be enough. Or if you have some hyper smooth GoPro like stabilization, which I have also here with the normal camera app, this would be enough. But it's definitely not. There's a huge difference, huge improvement. If you record with such a gimbal, it makes a total different impression, looks much more professional. So I can give you a full recommendation. So I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. And if you're interested into this gimbal, then I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.